Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 23rd of April, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.40 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What's coming up for them within 24 hours? The Fool in Reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Leo, Aries, Satch. Um, this is a different setting because I'm in Bali. I just flew in a few hours ago. And I do have a table, but it's full of my stuff. So I thought I'd just do it on my bed. And I bought this plastic um, bag container thing so that I could, you know, bring it outside and work outside or on my bed whenever I want to but anyway still the same channel <laughs> not a swords knight of wands and then we've got the star here healing and recovery some of you Leo Aries Sag I don't know why within 24 hours you're gonna be thinking a lot about work so your pentacles in reverse or if you're in a third party situation, you're gonna be thinking a lot about the third party, okay? Depending where you're at in this dynamic, but something for those of you in a third party situation, you're gonna be thinking a lot about it. Also, especially if you're the one, if you're the one who has to choose, you're gonna compare. That's what I'm seeing. Seven Pentacles. You're to, you're gonna compare. You're gonna observe. You're gonna analyze who should i choose who should i choose between these two people okay that's for some of you but if you do know that your person's putting you in a third party situation with somebody else then your person will be stressing out and trying to choose between the two of you within 24 hours okay hmm I feel like some of you will stay up late nine of swords or if you've been staying up late the night before i do feel like you're gonna have you stayed up if you stayed up late because of work or be, because if you've been socializing a little bit too much i see you getting a bit of a headache here okay you're gonna get a bit of a headache four swords spirits you're gonna be resting or that you should be resting because the Knight of Wands here feels like a very active energy. Maybe you've been active at night with the star. It's nighttime. Doing your thing, whatever it could be. <laughs> and with the Knight of Swords here, you're going to get a headache the next day. I don't know what. Uh, either headache or a hangover if you guys drink, okay? Some of, some of you drink, some of you don't. I see you getting a headache but it felt good at that time <laughs> it's like you're gonna be doing something and you you're gonna have a lot of fun or that you're gonna be very passionate about it it feels good at that at that point in time but then you're gonna wake up with a headache the next day I keep getting this headache four swords and you're gonna be resting okay for those of you staying late at night yeah the next day you're gonna get a headache and then not a sword team reverse you're gonna slow down the next day even take a day off from work with the three of pentacles here in one first we've got the queen of wands and then we've got the knight of wands this is your energy but this is masculine this is feminine 
Then we've got the Seven of Pentacles and Ace of Wands in one verse. Somebody could be wondering if you're still interested in them. Or you could be wondering if someone could st is still interested in you. The Fool here is in one verse. I see you regretting something that you... Something that you're gonna be doing. <laughs> Something that feels fun, something that feels like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, right? It seems fun, it seems like, you know, uh, you were very driven to do it. Like it's just something that you've been wanting to do with this star here. But then you're gonna kind of regret it the next day, Nine of Swords. Some of you could be like a one night stand that you're gonna regret or drinking too much that you're gonna regret. Or work, working too late. They're not having enough sleep and can't wake up the next day or waking up with a headache, okay? So this is a warning. <laughs> so don't do any of these things if you know if you if you think that's what you're gonna be doing, okay, Spirit says you're gonna be like the fool in reverse. You're gonna feel kind of foolish for doing that. You're gonna feel like it's a mistake, okay? Unless it's a bit too late by the time you watch this reading. We've got the nine of swords and rubber, six of swords and rubber. Yeah, you're gonna be stuck when you do that. You would have wished with the nine of swords. This not a sort of a verse can indicate impulsiveness, something that could be like this is why I feel like it's something that you're gonna be doing that's impulsive. Okay, so we're saying to be careful. Every time when you're just about to feel like you wanna do something right away and you know at the back of your mind that maybe you shouldn't, maybe you should think twice, maybe you should wait for a while. <laughs> before you make that decision before you go for it so there's something you're gonna do that you're gonna go for like that's out of impulsiveness and spirit says don't be impulsive okay just wait it out for sorts think about it first because else you're gonna feel foolish for doing that and you're gonna um, get a little bit stuck feel a little stuck And the death card here. <laughs> You're gonna feel like, gosh, it's like a, um, this death card feels like an embarrassment kind of thing, okay? So you're gonna feel embarrassed. I wish I didn't. I wish I was, I wish nobody saw that, or I wish I didn't do that. It feels like that. Um, like you just don't, how do you say? Um, you, you're gonna feel as though you just want to hide you just want to hide like as though you don't exist I don't know what it is for some of you again it could be a decision that you're gonna be making impulsively which you know that's why you're watching this is a warning doesn't mean it's gonna happen um, there's something that you would have done that you will be doing but impulsively which you could avoid I feel you could avoid that from happening if you were to think about it first. Okay, four swords. It's like just slow down, slow your horses, give it some time to think about it, don't rush into it. Else you're going to be embarrassed by it, nine of swords, or feel really foolish for this thing that you're going to be doing, okay? That you will be doing, like, it feels impulsive again. And we've got the queen of wands, seven of pentacles. Then you're going to end up just analyzing, over-analyzing, right, about your behavior or something that you have done. <laughs> and also this, this energy, I hope this person doesn't see, didn't see it. I hope this person doesn't know. And the Ace of Cups here is in reverse. Hmm. It's like some sort of a rejection. This is kind of funny, <laughs> Leo Aries. Sorry that I'm laughing, but this def definitely this is a warning sign. You're gonna feel really good about wanting to do this, 
and then you're gonna think 100% sure that this is what I'm gonna be doing. I would do it, I don't care, right? But then you're gonna regret it, okay? So make sure within 24 hours, in the next 24 hours, if you find yourself feeling kind of impulsive to do something that you possibly could regret the next day, don't do it, okay? Or just give it more time to think about it first. <laughs> All right. Leo Aries Sash, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Tra uh, Chelsea Vlogs. Always, always want to say Chelsea Travel. I always said Chelsea Tar eh, Travel, but it's actually Chelsea Vlogs. But anyway... It's my travel channel. Um, feel free to subscribe to it if you want to. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. All right, take care. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.